Welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and we are now clear for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we have live launch liftoff. Good morning crafters and welcome to Air Hunky Dory. Uh, my name is Dan and I will be your captain on this ship no flight today. <laughs> Ably assisting me is my co-pilot, Emily Rocket to the Moon Ralph. <laughs> Good morning, Emily. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Goody today. And uh, at the demonstration station, a lady who used to be in charge of light entertainment and snacks, but we had to remove that title and make a normal cabin crew because we could not keep it out of the drinks cabinet. <laughs> yes. It's Sheila Halliwell. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Mo morning, drunkard. How are you today? I'm joking. I'm okay. <laughs> May I just point out, I often say that Sheila likes to drink, and it is not true. It's it not. is not true. Do you know what? It's not true. I, and do you know what? You'll laugh at this. At On Christmas Day, my mum came, because she's in our bubble. Mum came for Christmas lunch with us. And we sat at the table, and we opened a bottle of red wine, a bottle of white wine. My mum had that much. I had about that much, because I was driving back home. Oh, yeah. And my partner had like that much red wine and you know what the red wine is still sat in the kitchen on the worktop with the cork in it is it really yeah i don't know how long they last is that is that now for cooking is. i suppose well uh, i think for maybe a few days after but not now but it's just sat there we, we're just it? rubbish it's just tea all round oh, i like it i like a glass good. of sherry when i'm getting very stressed i like a big you know just glass of sherry just to but that that's rare <laughs> okay <laughs> But Knock it back, Sheila. I like a glass of sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly hit the wall, that one. Well, it doesn't make you drunk, Sherry. It just makes you go to sleep so you can have three, four, five. You don't get, like, slurry words and you don't get giddy and silly, you know, or a bit, like, frantic. You just All of a sudden, you just go, good night, and you just go to sleep. So when you it's... sat there and you, and you get drunk from the feet up, <laughs> like that, and you go, oh, what's happened? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. But no. um, morning, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hi, uh, and welcome to our flight today. Uh, we've got a cracker for you today. It's going to be a good one. A um, couple of announcements first. Uh, we have four days left. Four days left in January. Woof! Four days left in our pound shop sale. So uh, everything is a pound in our pound shop, funnily enough. Uh, whether they be five quid, four quid, three quid, two quid, they've gone down to a pound. Uh -huh. um, more than half the stock's gone, we know that. Uh, get in there, grab what you can, because there are four days left. In four days, all the prices return to the higher prices than they were before. Um, what's next? We hope you enjoyed our Technique Tuesday show yesterday. Uh, the stamp selection is on offer until Friday. There was a great stamp selection. Um, 48 quid's worth of stamps, actually. Uh, normally multi-buy of 30 quid, now 20 pounds. Wow. Only till Friday. Uh, selling very well. They did very well yesterday. I looked at the numbers. Good. Um, and we had a really nice show, Sheila. Good. The only thing that was missing was you. Yeah, but I was doing another, another you show You were somewhere busy else, doing so. another show. <laughs> and you, yesterday, you were launching this product that we're going to show people today. Yes, yes I was and it, it went very well. It was, uh, people liked it. It's a lovely you know, kit. It's, it's very nice and it's it's something totally different I think. And But it's a massive kit, there's so much in there. Loads. Um, you know, you could, you could make, because we've got that little book in there, obviously you could make more than 150 cards. It's amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Now you won't know because you were on TV, but we were stood here telling people to go and watch you on Create yeah, Craft really? whilst we were on here. Yeah, it was really bizarre actually. People say, can you do your best to not have the shows on at the same time? But unfortunately with Create and Craft, sometimes the, the hours that you're given, yeah. the hours that you're given, we can't yes. change them. But, yeah. um, but there we go. Uh, okay, so launch yesterday, very, very nice. We will show you very soon. First, Win It Weekly. Uh, to be in with a chance of winning uh, one of our gorgeous birthday wishes stamp and die bundles. You get the dies. Oh, no, that's the stamps, Daniel. And you get the dies. There we go. Uh, 21 stamps and dies in there worth £24.99. Four winners there's going to be. Uh, we need you to answer this question. How many miles does the average woman walk in her lifetime while vacuum cleaning? 
Is it A, 1,650? Is it B, 9,300? Or is it C, 7,300? It's too many. We need robots that do it. I was just thinking that. I was thinking, you know, you could get a big robot and you could sit on it and it could go around with you on it so you wouldn't be doing any steps. Oh, again, because it's remote control. Well, How big is your house that you can have a sit-on <laughs> vacuum cleaner like a sit-on lawnmower? It's just, it must be massive. It is big because it's, it's an old vicarage. It's, 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 it's So it's very big. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be able to sit on the hoover. No. <laughs> would I? Oh, would I? <laughs> <laughs> takes all sorts um okay guys we're going to show you our wonderful launch today uh thank you for joining us um i hope you have a lovely hour with us here we're really excited about this product uh so first we're going to show you the gorgeous little angels ultimate bundle here we go um look at that it's a stunt you can just see the colors in it are absolutely beautiful aren't they sheila yes yeah i think you expect when you say it's a little angels kit that it's going to be very pastel -y and very pink mm. lots of white and cream and, and silver but we've warmed it up and it's um it's really there's bright there on the, on the screen yeah so well, uh, first things first that i should tell you is there's a little book in the center just there can you see so that's a little book and you know the size of those um, so you can see how much there is in this kit. Well, everything that you can see, aside from the little book, you get two of. So we've shown you one of everything here. You get two of that. So it's double that plus yeah. your little book in the middle, which is brilliant. You've got toppers down at the bottom. You get eight of those, fold and die cut. Uh, you've got fold and die cut cardstock. Is it fold and die cut? Foiled cardstock, yeah. eight of those. You've got printed cardstock, eight of those. You've got this gorgeous parchment down here at the front. It's beautiful. And yeah. these panels up here at the top as well. Inserts, 36 inserts, I think. Wow, yeah. 36 inserts, plus that amazing little book in the middle. Okay, um, £44.95 is your total price. That saves £17. We're going to show you some of the cards that have been made with this kit. Isn't that beautiful? It's really, it's nostalgic, Sheila. It's, yep. um, it's just something, something really different, isn't it? Yeah, we were when you were just before you came in. We were just looking at the toppers and saying how it kind of. The more you look at it, the more you see a memory, or um, it makes you think of something else. Like there's there's a topper on there with the three little girls and their little angels with wings on, all holding hands in a circle. It just immediately made me think of. Ringa Ringa Roses. Mm. Um, and then we were saying, like, you know, my neighbour's children used to come out and help their dad wash the car. They were always dressed up as for either fairies or princesses Aww. with wellies on and buckets. So I think a lot of people will see their own grandchildren in this. Absolutely. It's so, so pretty. Let's take a bit of a closer look. Uh, so first, with our, um, with our luxury car collections, we always give you one of these fabulous uh, inspiration sheets, which mm. has got loads and loads of cards there that have already been made by the team which is perfect for if you've not got your mojo with you that day, yeah. uh, or if you want just a little bit of inspiration, you get cards that have already been made, and you can copy those if you want. Mm. Of course you don't need to. If you like the style of any of these, you can use that style, but with different sheets of cardstock. Yeah. Um, so there's loads on there. Oh, there's nothing on the back. Uh, okay, and let's go into our toppers. So, um, first we've got best of friends. So there's two girls here, two little angels here. Love this, um, are they called pagodas at the back? Yes. Is that the yeah. right word? Yeah. Really pretty. You've got three down here, best of friends. So girls that are best of friends, which is really nice. So um, the artwork's, as we said, it's nostalgic. It's sort of traditional, yeah. but but yet there's there's this cuteness to it, and there's this these contemporary stronger colours as well, Sheila. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, that one reminds me almost a little bit of Christmas because you've got the greens in there, and you know you could bring this out at Christmas, add a bit of glitter. Um, and then those two just almost, it's like they're dressing up, you know, like your grandchildren, you, they, they want to dress as fairies and they have like, or, or princesses, you know, and they play in the garden and they've got the rabbit there and they're picking flowers. I think it just does make you think, the rabbit. Uh, you know, about, about children and, and the children in your life. So this is called The Perfect Day. The um, uh, the accent foiling on the wings is absolutely gorgeous as well. It is. I, I noticed that yesterday in particular. When I was, you know, when we're working on it and getting demos ready, 
we, we just put the demos together. We don't have chance to actually sit and look at the detail on that. And I noticed the um, those little splinters of gold on those wings yesterday when I was in the studio and I thought, Look at the, all the you know, effects on there. Even on the tiniest stars there, everything is foiled. Um, it's quite amazing. So the sentiment that I just read there was forever grateful for all that you do. So it's lovely, isn't it? It's a really thoughtful kit, this. You are so loved yep. uh, on your special day. Really, really nice. You've got the angel here with the, with the children. Yeah. So there's, there's sort of um, religious uh, connotations to it, but, yeah. but not wholly. It just sits there in a, in a really beautiful place, this, doesn't it? Yeah, I think you have to let your imagination work a bit. You know, you can imagine this is what's what's going on in heaven. You can imagine it's going on at night time down in the, at the bottom of the fairy garden. Um, it makes me think as well about guardian angels. A lot of people have a... Absolutely. Like, have a guardian angel, or a lot of people make guardian angels from jewellery. A lot of people have guardian angel brooches and again that's very poignant and very um, important to a lot of people so I think this is going to strike a card, card with a lot of people I think they're going to really make some lovely things with it. I think it's really pretty I think it's really really pretty I love the colours love the rabbits on there love the birds here as well yeah which are really nice and um, for my special little angel sentiments you fill my heart with joy and mm. um, best wishes as you'd expect of yeah. course uh, to my beautiful daughter yeah. So there's some really, really pretty sentiments in here. Okay, so you are going to get in your kit, this is the, is the topper collection, uh, and you get, uh, there are two of everything that I just showed you there. So you get uh, 16, 20, 24 sheets in there, oh. 24 sheets. You can do that, Stan, you can do it. Um, <laughs> we, what we're going to do, we're going to go across to Sheila now, are we? And uh, Sheila's going to mm. do a demonstration, then we'll show you more of the kit as we go along. Yes, okay, so um, I was looking through it and I was, I was spoilt for choice because the, the toppers are beautiful, but the cardstock is beautiful as well. You know, very often you don't want to cut into your cardstock. So what I've done, I've taken one of our pieces of A3 um, Adorable Scorable, and I've actually made an 8 by um, 8 gatefold card. So if you take your A3 sheet, just score it at 4, then score it at 8, and then you can cut your next section off at 4. You'll have to trim a bit off the bottom, and then you have a nice um, gatefold card. And I thought it'd be nice to do it in Adorable Scorable for a change, rather than do it in our Ink Me. Um, and then I've taken the lovely piece of A4 card, which when you um, get it, has got like a panel in the middle. It's beautiful. And what I'm going to do is, I think on the card it's actually like that, to be honest. Um, I'm going to swap them over, and I'm going to do the... Um, little panel, the gold panel, down the middle section here. We're going to put it on a bit of gold too. And then we're going to build up the inside. We're going to use some of the inserts as well and some of the toppers. So let's first of all um, put some of the glue onto here and we'll layer it onto some gold mirror first of all. And then I'm going to put a piece of ribbon in the middle as well, which will go under these two panels. Um, and then we can at least tie it closed if we want to. Um, another thing that made um, me look at this kit was how good it would be for something like a christening or, you know, baptism, confirmation. Um, you know, you could use it for anything religious if you like to fundraise for your church. And I know the churches are closed at the minute, but imagine when you go, go back into church, you know, you're going to need to probably raise some money for, for certain aspects of the of the parish. So, you know, this would be really, really lovely kit for, for using in that way. It's really um, pretty, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So attractive. I think as well, you could use this for uh, little journals. You could use it for scrapbook pages. You know, you might want to make a little, um, almost like a... An album with photographs in of maybe granddaughter send it to grandma if if they've not been able to see each other for the you know for the last year or so there's lots of lots of things you can do with it i think as a crafter make calendars um oh all sorts of things you can do okay so let's pop this piece of ribbon onto here i'm just going to make sure it's kind of uh even there I'm excited to see what you're doing here, Sheila. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. just going to cut that because then <gasps> we can tie that, you see, obviously. Oh, now the... that makes sense. I was like, no, don't go. Yeah, once the card is shut. So what I'm going to do now is put some more double-sided on here so that we can stick our topper on the front. So let's put that so it overlaps like that. And this here. 
obviously don't do it right to the top you don't want to be uh, making your tape overlap where you, your top is going to go so good morning to everyone who is with us this morning it's lovely yes. to have your company Definitely. Uh, emma says she loves the angels uh, andrea says it's a beautiful kit vicky says it reminds her of her grandma's house oh uh, wow. sally ann says it's so adorable um clive says good morning from anglesey Oh, hello! Uh, and Emma says she's been to Anglesey and it's a lovely place. I've never been, but it does sound lovely. Yeah, I think I've been. Um, I think I've been once. It was a long time ago. It is very nice. It's a, it's a, lots of people like going there. I think my grandma used to go there every year um, when she was much younger. So there you can see. Now we've got our lovely. It's tough as anything as well because we've used mirror. We've got two. Um, Lots of adorable scorable on here, so it's proper chunky. Again, this is something you could make. You could put, why not put a section in here, make some cards and some notelets and envelopes, put them in, you know, make that as a, as a gift for someone. So what I want to do is I don't want to leave it white inside. I'm going to take the insert. Now you get three of the inserts. So what I want to do is cut one of them down so that we have, um, two pieces to go on the inside here and what I'll do just mark off with my pencil the bit that we don't need and then we can chop that off at the bottom and then that will go on the inside of the card so we're not just having leaving it plain white okay so let's get my tape off there Debbie says she loves angels uh, Wendy says this would be perfect for christenings definitely yeah yeah Zara says it's not for her, this one. It's everybody likes different things, don't they? Which is great. And I think it's one of the things I love about Hunky Dory is that we do such a lovely variety of products. So yes. whether you like cute or whether you like contemporary or whether you like traditional, yeah. something a little bit ephemera. Um, there's, yeah. a bit, there's something for everyone, isn't there? Definitely. And this was what we were talking about. Um, you know, you we were talking about this yesterday. Myself and, and Dean at Create and Craft, Dean was saying that he had a, he used to have a shop. I'm not sure if he didn't sell... I think he's sold furniture, I think. and Because I think, yeah, I think he's actually, by trade, I think he's like a, a cabinet maker. I think he, you know, he specialises in making and carving things from wood, um, I think. But, yeah, he was saying that, you know, it, as a someone that owns a business selling um, things like this for creativeness, doing crafting and stuff, you have to think of all your customers and you have to try and, um, you know, make something for everyone's taste so that's I think like you say what we do here at Hunky Dory because the next thing we'll do is bring something that's really modern you know and and for kids and teenagers and things like that so we do have to cater for everyone so and that's why I think that's why it's so popular as well because everybody likes what we do and you know some people just do stamping some people do toppers some people just do die cutting um and when you're in, a, in the crafting industry, I think you have to cater for everyone. So that's why we have to do what we do. Um, and it's nice that people can pick and choose. Debbie says it's absolutely gorgeous and she had to have it. Absolutely. Um, Don, Donna McMillan says, this is a wonderful set and reminds me of my late mum who was angels daft. So really? she absolutely loved angels, yeah. Wow. And as you say, so many people do. Do you know, I think you can make all sorts from it. You can make... You know, get well cards. You can go like like um, our lovely viewer said there. You can go from from birth. You know, you can do christening. You can do confirmation. You can also do um, you know, coming of age. You can do get well soon, thinking of you. You can do sympathy. You know, you can do all kinds it's with a real it. Real mix, isn't it? It's really really nice for that. I okay. love the way that you've lined the inside. So of we've that lined car. the inside now. So what I'm going to do now, I've taken one of the um, pieces of the print, the foil cardstock has this beautiful image, and it's got the like the mature fairy angel, should I say, with the little girl. And there's a swan on there. So I've cut that off because I want to put this in the middle, and then I want to make like a little um, window. We've got some feathers with this kit as well, so I'm going to use um, a feather on this too. I love the feathers. They're really, really nice. Yeah, nice big bag of white feathers. I think it's a 10, 10 gram bag, I think, isn't it? It's either 5 or 10. I think it's 10 grams. Um, okay, so when I put that on a little bit of gold, remember if you do an 8x8 card, you're going to have to trim a bit off the top and the bottom maybe because it's A4 in size, but you'll still have your other piece that you've cut off that you can use on a, a DL card. Um, you know, there's no waste with it. So let's pop this into the centre here. 
like that. Okay. So now when we open that, we've got this really nice kind of view inside. So even if it stands open on someone's fireplace or mantelpiece or the cupboard, they can still see both the front and the inside. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take, and I'm going to just whisk through my toppers here because I wasn't sure which one to use. My idea was I wanted to put some of the angels in, but I also wanted to do a little like shaker window inside. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to take that frame and I'm going to make this as the shaker. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a piece of acetate on the back of there. So let's do that with some double sided tape first of all. Um, and then we can just make a really simple um, window. And then what I wanted to do was, uh, again I'm talking about this yesterday, I'm talking about white feathers. Uh, lots of people believe if they see a white feather just and, and white feathers do, do just float down from nowhere they do um, don't they and people like to think it's it's a it's a loved one you know that they've lost a or sign. it's a sign of someone's watching over you you know and all these um all these thoughts are positive and, and people really believe in those so i thought what it might be nice to do is just do a little shaker window with the with a feather in it Maybe a little bit of glitter as well, um, just to, um, well, something a little bit different, I think. So, what we're wow, going to do... Wow, I love your card making, Sheila. There's, there's going to be so much going on in this one, it's brilliant. Well, yeah, it's nice to try and um, show as much as we can. So, if we take some of our um, foam strips, we'll pop these around the window, like that. Uh, I'll put my scissors now, there they are. Um, and I'm just going to use my wider strips. These are our foam strips that come on a sheet. Two different sizes in there. Some of my, these are some of my favourite things in life. Um, before I came to Hunky Dory, I used to try and find tape, like foam tape that was about three millimetres in width and I could never find it. When I came to Hunky Dory, Anne-Marie got me some of the uh, foam pads from out of the warehouse. I was like, oh my goodness, this is... Well, I've been looking for all my life as a crafter. <laughs> all my life. All my life I have searched and now I've found. Donna um, says Donna says that her mum's fridge magnet that she gave her years ago that says mothers are angels in training is uh, such a lovely quote. It, it is, is, isn't it? it? Mothers I've are seen angels that. in training. Yeah, that is a lovely That's quote. Brilliant. Yeah, it is. Um, definitely. Okay, so we're nearly there now with the window. So I'm just doing a double layer of foam pads because because I'm putting a feather in it, the f it's likely that the feather won't move. Um, but I'm going to put a tiny little bit of sparkle in as well. So it'll still be quite quite cute. You never know that the feather might move. Um, let's just do this last piece on here. Okay, there we go. Abby's got a question for you, Sheila. Let's yes. see if we, can, if we can help her out. Whenever I make shaker cards, the bits stick to the tape at the sides. Um, how okay. do I stop that? I get that. So, yes. um, so when they're inside, you shake it, and all of a sudden they all move to the sides and they get stuck. And there. they get stuck. And now that depends on the, the tape you're using. Um, our tape doesn't have that sticky um, side bit on. Usually, it's a bit sticky if it comes from a roll. Okay. But again, I don't think our shaper, shaker tape is sticky. What you can do, if you've got an anti-static bag, mm. if you run it along there, once you've put your um, your tape on, that should take away the stickiness. If you've not got an anti-static bag, use a bit of like corn flour on a, on a cloth or a bit of talcum powder, and it just takes off that sticky from there, yeah. um, and that should then help. That'll just, that'll just, I guess, stick to the sticky bit and therefore make it not sticky anymore. Yes, yes. that's exactly right. That's a really good tip, Sheila. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, because I don't want to have, um, well, it's going to be difficult. What I like to do when I'm doing shaker cards, depending on what I'm using and where I'm putting my window, I like to do a separate window. Um, and this again, you know how we like sitting and doing decoupage and decollage at night when we're watching the telly, just putting them together. This is something you can do while you're watching TV. Make some separate shaker windows. So what I'm going to do now in here, I'm going to take the tape off um, and I'm going to put in some of our beautiful um, white glitter, which has got these beautiful colours in it, which will probably reflect really well um, with the kit, 
and then I'm also going to put in from our glitter collection so you know we have loads of uh, glitters and we have sequins and we have these little um, shaker elements for shaker windows so I'm going to put some gold stars in because we've got gold foiling on the kit and then I'm going to grab a feather now just bear with me one sec while I just root through for one that's not that huge that one is perfect so I'm going to sit that just in there now in fact I'll do it that way so it's the right way from the front find my square of acetate um, now again if you're doing a, a window like this you can rub over it with your with your powder it will gradually just disappear um, but it can be quite good at stopping the static that you're going to get okay so now we've got our little window there with our feather in and we've got some glitter so you can see there now and and that's kind of you know what as well what would be really nice here see i'm getting all quite sentimental now if you find a white feather that does fall down oh. you know like they do sometimes why not keep that Capture and, it. and put it into a um you know a little window like this and then you've got that feather and then it's even more meaningful and it's what, captured there for the long term for isn't you. it it's and doesn't way. that look really nice on there you know you can it's surprising what you can put in a shaker window and i think that makes this kit really really nice so what we'll do now we'll tape our little window onto there we're going to put a little topper on and the sentiment um and you know how nice would this be just something simple like this from a sympathy card you know with a little feather um it'd be it'd be really nice um you know you could even you could even oh see i'm thinking of all sorts and this is what happens when you start crafting with things and you've got five minutes to sit and think <laughs> you know you could make little kits up like this and it could be um you know we see people doing jewelry now with their loved ones ashes and things like that you could actually just put kits together and say you know if you see a feather fall from the sky you can now put it in in a little window like this and and keep it you know and that could you could do that it in, is a, lovely. in a kit form um i really quite like that right so we're going to pop that there and then i think we'll put this lovely topper on i'm mixing up the topper sheets here and this says cherish each beautiful moment which is really important um Especially at the moment, I think. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, I think it's certain. Um, I think the feather makes all the difference with, with something like this. We'll pop this at the bottom here. And then we're going to do a little topper. In fact, we'll pop that right underneath so it goes with the window. And then we're going to take one of our little toppers and we'll look at the girls that are on the front here. So we've got our two little um, angels here. So let's grab... I think we might put this one on. I kind of like this one. I like the shape of this. Reminds me of a church window, which is really nice. So guys, remember that all of our shows are available to play back at any time. So yeah. watching Sheila making the uh, the shaker window then looks so easy. When you sit there and come to do it yourself, you might, oh, how exactly did she do it? You can go back on either Facebook or on YouTube. You can go to the Hunky Dory Hub on our website, hunkydorycrafts.co.uk, uh, and you'll find our shows, and you can find this show. Um, come to about 25 minutes into this show, and you will be able to see Sheila making that card again. Yeah, and it's just um, something a little bit... I, I didn't actually have the thought about doing that until I came into the room and brought the feathers and I thought, what could I do? What could I do with the feather this time? Um, and I was going to do a bunch of feathers, but I thought, you know what, this is a really nice little little touch. Let's pop the little ribbon on the inside here, of, just below the little um, angel. We'll pop that on with a bit of construction glue. It will, um, it will grab... Um, you might need a few minutes and then let's just stick that in there. There's a lot of love for whales in the comments today, Sheila. Are there really? Uh, it, whales is, uh, not whales, not whales as in, no, not as in, in the, sea whales, sea but whales. whales as in country whales. Yeah. But whales is a lovely place. It's I've, beautiful. Yeah. I used to go there every year um, when I was, when I was still married we used to go to Wales every year and we used to go in a, a different cottage every year I mean that was where I actually got proposed to in Wales can you believe yeah. that yeah 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 I like Wales it's beautiful Wales it really is I've cycled around Wales started at the top and went all the way past I, Snowdon down to the down to the south round and back up again yeah I bet you have because you've been all over on your back haven't you right let's pop we've got a couple little um let's just pop on here a little 
square at the front with a sentiment on. So we don't want to not put a sentiment at the front. And we're going to pop this here. So let's pop this right at the front. Just to say. If you can hear the banging at the minute, guys, that's um, that's because we our studio is kind of in our factory, isn't it, Sheila? It is, yeah. yeah. We're in a um, we're we're in a a, a a bubble in a room within a room <laughs> within uh, within the, the the large warehouse within the yeah. factory. So actually, the um, sometimes you get banging, or sometimes you get people uh, walking past with the um, with the trolleys full of stock or the pallet trucks. Uh, but the banging at the minute that I can hear is um, that's the guys. It's called knocking up the card. So yes. they've got they've got big, large sheets of card. I mean, you know, so like, imagine four A fours together or eight A fours together. Yeah. And you've got to get them perfectly aligned before you guillotine them. So that's what they're doing. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so there's our finished card. So you can actually tie it together at the front, and then when you open it up, we've got our lovely feather, like kind of preserved in there, and it's a shaker as well. We've got glitter and stars, and then you've got your lovely little sentiment and your little angel in there as well. Sheila, I think that is absolutely beautiful. Thank um, you. Emily, yeah. we are, this is, is this the third time that I'm gonna say this already this year? Because we, oh, we talk about, <laughs> guys, we talk about um, favourite cards of the year. And what we said, so l last year we, we did a, a little get together, didn't we? We, we did. talked about our favourite cards. Yeah. And to work out what our favourite cards were, we sat down and we and we viewed loads and loads of tapes of what we'd done and so on. Oh, yes, yeah. I remember that one. It's really good. This year, being a bit cleverer, writing down which cards we like the most, I think I've already got three by the end of January. <laughs> that, greedy, that, that be, it's crazy. <laughs> that's absolutely lovely. I love what you've done with the feather there, Sheila. I think it's beautiful. Oh, and the guys at you. home, uh, I'm reading on the iPad here, the guys at home are absolutely loving it as well. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, okay, guys, so your Little Angels Ultimate Collection. Let's take another look here. This is what you get in your Little Angels Ultimate Collection. Um, that is our main product on the show today, £44.95. It saves £17. It includes that topper collection that's £19.99, it includes 36 inserts that's £9.99, it includes the parchment that we haven't shown you yet, which I really love, I'm going to show mm -hmm. you in a minute, uh, that's £9.99, and the little book that's £9.99 as well, so that saves you £17. As we said at the start of the show, aside from the little book, everything you see there, you get two of, so you get double that. Can you imagine all that next to it again? I know. That's a lot of good stuff. Lot of stuff. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of cards, and then we're going to jump into the inserts and so on. Uh, here we go. Lovely cards that have been made by our team here. Um, lovely easel card there. Uh, I've got some other dimensional cards here. So we've got a... Sheila, what's the name of this card? It's a stepper card, isn't stepper, it? Stepper, yes. But that's a Tips. side stepper, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so Emma made this for us. Uh, for oh, the actually, design team. no, that's a, that's a centre stepper. Centre stepper, yes, of course. Yes, it is. The steps are at the side, but... Um, uh, yes. Yeah, it's centre stepper. But isn't that lovely? I love the gold, luxurious gold foil with this as well. Gorgeous. Nicer use of the feather again. Um, oh, here we go. This looks to me, it's an easel card. So these are really, because we, we've, um, from back from the design team, we've got quite a few easel cards. So obviously, yes. when people get this, uh, when people get all their kits, they sit there and, on our design team and think, okay, what should I do? And a number of people have been, do, been doing the same sort of thing here. So this must be quite easy to work with, Sheila. Yes, definitely. I think, I mean, I think you can do this with any of our kits, to be honest. It's, um, you know, it, it's kind of almost like purpose built for that, I think. Absolutely. Uh, for want of a better word. That's from Amy there. Thank you very much, Amy. Um, we've got a lovely fold back card here with sort of a diamond um, t topper on there, which is lovely. So they've taken the, the um, this is uh, Leanne, Leanne, I think it's Shilito, I'm not sure. I'm really sorry if I've got your name wrong, Leanne. Um, but that's absolutely lovely. And what she's done there is she's used the frame, but not in, uh, not a, in the same orientation, that's the right word, as the topper, which makes it quite different, doesn't it? Nice fold back card Yeah, there. definitely. Um, here we go, it's another easel card. Look at that. So that's using acetate there as well, which is really nice. So you get the sort of floating effect for the toppers, which is really pretty. I like that a lot. I'll show you one more, and then I'm going to show you the inserts. So we have a, should a double fold back? What's it called, this? Um, it's Centre fold? It's a, I'm not sure if it's... Um, like a double gatefold. Double gatefold. Uh, do you know, fold. I don't know if it is a double gatefold. There could be another 
Another name, for, name it. for it. It's a bit like a gatefold, but then you've got the extra panel on the yes, front. Yeah, and you can it. Oh, oh, I've just done it, yeah. Uh, well, Emma did that. Uh, thank you very much, Emma. Um, okay. Beautiful. And we're going to take a look at the inserts. So in that great big bundle, the £44.95 um, bundle, you get these inserts in there. 36 of them. Um, but uh, you can get these on their own for £9.99 should you wish. Uh, again, as you'd expect from the inserts, you get a lovely watermark effect, uh, mm -hmm. which is really, really pretty, with those angels on it and with the, uh, with the little angels' artwork. Um, let's just take that. There we go, that's perfect. I love that border there at the side. They're lovely, these. They really are lovely inserts. The artwork's so pretty. Can you see that? So these are slightly more, um, slightly stronger print than you can see on screen. The screen washes yes. it out ever so slightly. So yeah, um, which is is always good to know. So you, you'll see a little bit more than you do here on screen. But a lot of the time, these will sort of follow the card blank, so it'll be quite obvious as to which insert would go best with the card you're making. Yes, depending upon the card stock that you use. These are 140 GSM. So they are good quality, uncoated, and that's lovely. So a, just a really nice sponged effect all the way across. Yeah. Which is going to be replicated in the parchment that I'll show you in a second. That's a really pretty colour, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's the one I've just used, I think. Um, is it that light pinky one? Oops, it was. one more. And then there's the, the blue there. Okay, so the insets are in your ultimate bundle. Okay, insets are in the ultimate bundle. Um, oh, I'm going to show you this because I can't not do while it's here. I love this. I know it's so. Um, it's absolutely crazy. love this. This was made by our beautiful Jane, and it's using some of the parchment that we're going to show you in a second. Um, and if I flick that, we should get some lights behind it as well. Isn't that great? Sheila loves lights, don't you, Sheila? Yes, I do. And I think anything with lights is amazing. But this parchment is perfect for putting lights with because it's it's deeply coloured. So it, it really is quite thick. It's great quality and it's perfect for doing something like that. But again, that's something you can put in your church at your you know your festivals and things like that at a to christening, a baptism, and anything. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Okay, so talking about the parchment, thank you so much for that, Jane, by the way. That, I think that's absolutely lovely. Talking about the parchment and talking about how lovely and deep it is. Now, um, it's semi-translucent, our parchment, as you'd expect. Mm -hmm. There are 16 sheets in here. I'm going to show you one of each, so you do get two of each, the ones that you can see. Um, now, you see my hand behind it, so you can see that it is semi-translucent. Yeah. But this has got a lot of colour on it which you don't always get with parchment, do you? It's often very no. pastel, um, but the colour is beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't say the word grunge, I don't think it's the right word for this, but it's no. more sponged, isn't it? Yes, that Look one's that. lovely. Look at it, because the designs are different on each one, uh, each of the plain ones as well. Um, and it's beautiful, and we always say this, it looks different, whatever you put it onto. You put it on white there, the pink so comes black. out more. And then, yeah. With my shirt, and you put it and on that's white. white. If you put it, let me grab some Miri down, because oh, this is do. always my favourite when you put it on Miri. If you put it on a piece of gold, you get a different effect. Okay, I, I was just dropping that. I was going to put a piece of white card onto a piece of Miri there. I was dropping the oh, wrong okay. one, Sheila, sorry. Right, okay. there we go. So it so usually look at that. Look at changes that. the colour if we have, if you try it with... Um, you see the sheen? It's almost giving you like a rainbow effect as isn't well, it? isn't it? And then if you, you know, you can always put it on silver as well. It'll give you a different effect. And this goes with white parchment too. Uh, but you there get that go. reflection. Can you see it's, that's that's gone kind of bluer, hasn't yeah. it? Whereas it goes greener with the gold, which yeah. is really, really nice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, I'll just move these out of the way. Sorry, guys, I've got lots going on here. I do apologise. <laughs> um, let's keep going. So let's look at that. Ah, that's a nice green, isn't it? This Gorgeous. is where you said earlier on that there's an element of Christmas green in this. Yeah, there is definitely. It's very, very warm. Which is really nice. Oh, this is lovely. Look at that. So you're getting two of every single one of these sheets that I'm showing you here, guys. Um, and then we go on to something that's really quite pretty, which is what you saw Jane using with mm. that lovely box card. Yeah. Um, we're just going to change the, uh, the, the uh, camera view so that you can pick the whole thing up here. Here we go. Look at those lovely. And there's a mix as well. So there's a mix of sizes. So you've got a full A5 size here, but you've also got A6 little angels on parchment. And again, can you see how the semi-translucent effect there, when you put the white behind it, quite it changes it. It's incredible, quite isn't it? Quite dramatically. It's like magic. 
Um, and there are more of these. So what you get is all the artwork from the Little Angels collection. Which way, Dan? There we go, that's better. All the artwork is here and available. Uh, only £9.99 for your parchment. Or indeed, it is included in that £44.95 bundle, which saves you £17. If you love the Little Angels collection, that is the place to be. There we go. How beautiful. I, lo I love this image. It's really attractive. It is. It's... it's um it's, it's incredible how it's been um, like paint, designed and painted. I don't know if it's done on a computer, if it's actually painted, but it's just, it looks like a proper piece of artwork that someone has actually sat and drawn. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, I am making Emily work her little cotton socks off today because she's, um, she's changing all these camera angles and camera views. And we've gone in nice and tight because the way to view little books is viewing them. Oh, there we go is viewing them big size on your screen, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. These are gorgeous. Our little books, for those who don't know our little books, there we go. Um, it's a nice, solid, sturdy uh, little book that's been padded at the top here um, with your glue. It includes 150 pages, and you can just pull a page out nice and easily. Yeah. You get six of each design. Now, what are you going to do with your six, Sheila? Well, you can use them separately, so you can put one on each card. You've got six cards. You can cut into them and decoupage them, so layer them up. You can use them with your dies. Um, so if you've got nesting dies, you know, you can create pyramage, you can create invitage. Um, you can layer them. You can, make, you can make them into all sorts. You can use them for calendars because you get so many... Um, different images in here there's enough to make you know two calendars with a different image every month and you'll still have a spare one because you get 20, 25 of those and th these are different because i think they're not foiled so when they're foiled they're very luxurious and they kind of have a bit more of a religious look to them whereas i think these look more kind of down at the bottom of the garden effect it's, they do don't they very much so yeah i totally agree how very, very beautiful though. Love that oh. with the dog. So the artwork's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yep, five by five, which is a really nice size for, for a, a, a topper for the front yeah. of a card. And you can chop into that. If you want that to be four by four, then you would just take some of this section away, if that makes sense. Definitely. Uh, and this at the bottom. Now you just pop one of these onto a piece of mirror card, as Sheila said, and you've got 150 toppers. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. And how fast is it to make 150 toppers? It's incredible. Oh, it is, yeah. It's. I mean, these are great. We have so many of our customers just buy all the little books and they buy Miri card or the Miri mats. They don't really do anything else and they just make cards with these. They they decoupage them, you know, and then they can put the sentiments on because we've included those as well. I love that we've started including sentiments. Definitely. In these. I think it's really nice. Love that. So cute. This is, And this is not like an angelic... No, not um, at all. Theme is it? It's like two little children playing out, you know, with the dungarees on, little dress. Um, almost reminds me a bit of Little House on the Prairie, that, with the style of the clothes that they're wearing as well. It does. And they're wearing dungarees. Yes. And I have to be honest, if there was one item of clothing from my youth that I could start wearing again, it's not my fairy wings. No, it's not. Okay. It's my dungarees. It's dungarees. Yeah, dungarees are very back in, I think, at the minute. Like denim ones. Lots of I've seen lots of people wearing them. My Max, the nine year old, wears his dungarees and he looks really good in them. And yeah. I think I think, do you know what? Could I pull it off? I don't <laughs> think I could. I think I have to be honest, that ship has sailed. Uh, do you know what, Dan? I think you'd be a really good children's presenter and at Thanks, that mate. point you could wear your stripy t shirt and your dungarees. A bit too short, so you sh your socks show underneath and some brightly coloured plimsolls. Fabulous. Very true. Um, okay, so there we go. So that's everything that's in your bundle. We've shown you now our topper collection. We've shown you our inserts. We've shown you our parchment. We've shown you the little book. It's a beautiful selection of products. All together, you're getting two of each of the parchment that we showed you. You're getting three of each of the inserts that we showed you. We, you're getting two of each of the whole topper sets that we showed you. And you're getting one of these gorgeous little books all together for $44.95. Mm. Um, oh, $44.95. It's not if you're in the club. If you're in Club Hunky Dory and it's free to join, you get 5% discount just for joining, just for being in the club. And it's yeah. free to join. It's wonderful. Sheila, shall we pop across to you and see what you're going to demonstrate now? You can. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit because on my list here, we have got, um, I'm going to use the parchment anyway, but I'm going to use the stamps as well because we have some stamps 
and some dies which are coming up next um so what i thought we might do because we've got this beautiful parchment i thought we might actually stamp onto some of the parchment and do a little bit of heat embossing as well oh lovely. on the parchment that's really interesting because one of the things that we did yesterday so we did um stamping yesterday in yes. our technic tuesday stamping show yeah um which people really really loved and we we started yeah. from the basics really yes. and, and then slowly should but surely worked our way through yeah and we talked about it one of the things that people wanted to see in another stamping technique Tuesday was embossing, heat okay. embossing, and how it works. So we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit of that now, which is brilliant. okay. Well, that's good. That's just perfect uh, timing, Sheila. That's just um, worked in our favour, hasn't it? Okay, so I've got. I'm just going to use the whole sheet of parchment. I'm only going to stamp on on this bit here. Um, the colours are beautiful, and I've brought the um, stamping. Let me just grab my magnets as well. I have taped it so that we can at least uh, just make sure it holds in place because it's quite. I mean, though it's heavy parchment, it's quite light and it very often does lift when you've got a strong, sticky stamp on there. So, let's take this beautiful stamp. And if you saw the show yesterday, we have oh, we have just minutes left at the end, so we didn't get to do the full demo. But I did actually use this stamp. I'm going to use it again because it's beautiful. It, I've never seen as many beautiful words um, just on a stamp, and I think it's so amazing so what we're going to do is we will just press that on there and then that's on our stampy press now you can see what i mean when i lift that up now it's lifting it from the magnet so i'm gonna add more tape to there it'll be fine because we will have our um our stamped image on there then now what you can do you don't have to but what you can do is you take your anti-static bag here on the parchment because the parchment will probably love to just grab that embossing powder that we're going to put on so let's just do that we've got a bit on there now just to make sure and then i'm going to put some versafine on my stamp here um, and we've got some beautiful words in this and you're going to be able to see them in a minute when i've stamped them they look incredible um, and there's little doves on here there's tiny little crosses mixed in between it's it's glorious it really is beautiful Right, so we'll give that a good press down onto the um, parchment. Now a little tip, when you lift that up, as you start lifting, maybe just grab onto that parchment just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Look at that, it's perfect. It's That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's really worked well on there. Um, so what we'll do now, we will take this off. I'm going to cover it with some lovely gold embossing powder so let's just grab my little tray and my embossing powder just grabbed some gold from my little um stamping box so let's put that onto there you won't believe sheila we have uh, done our bundle a little bit of an injustice okay because there are concept cards in the bundle as well oh there are and i've missed showing them but don't worry oh, i will show we'll them afterwards we'll don't worry do them don't you worry like, there's like even more in that bundle than you uh, than you realize there well, is than, than tons, i realized i'm sorry tons in there okay so let's heat this up now and you'll see in a minute it will start to melt the powder onto the ink and um and then you'll get this beautiful gold coming through so if i move this now and then you can see it starts to change so you can see the gold coming up there now a lot of people like to like to shake the heat tool i don't usually do that i like to just follow i mean if you want to you can start if it, this will be better if i start at the bottom and then go up you will start to see how it heats so rather than shaking it i do like to do this but it's up to you you can do it however you like um, I just like to follow where the powder is and see it melt. And there we go. Sheila, you always get such beautiful comments. I, I'm looking through the uh, through the comments on the iPad at the minute. You always get such beautiful comments, Sheila. Do I? Uh, really? Yeah. Honestly, I think because you're so um, you're inspirational for oh, people. You certainly you. are for us here, um, really but kind. you are for the people at home as well. Ruth says hello oh from God. New Zealand. New Zealand. She's over in New oh Zealand. Oh my word. Uh, we had a friend from Berlin um, watching earlier. Um, unfortunately, I can't go back in the comments and see who it was, um, but hello and welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, people. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so now you can see, if I show you, let's do like we did before. If you wanted to put it on gold, 
it will show through on gold because it gives it it makes it look more yellowy orange because the gold reflects against the parchment you could put it on white um, which is what I would like to do because then again it makes it nice and bright if you want to you can put it on a piece of adorable scoral bull that I had left over from the first card I did and you can see it gives a different look to it each time um, what I want to do is I want to layer it onto a piece of um, white now then you will see when I came in right and I started prepping here and I, I got a card blank out an A5 card blank. Anyway, I'll put it down somewhere. Anyway, it's fine. We'll grab another one from here. Because I want to make an A5 card this time. So, what I'm going to do is just pop. I'll just grab one here. Just bear with me a minute. I've got really short arms. and the, <laughs> the You truly are <laughs> our little angel, <laughs> aren't you, Sheila? I can be. You were waiting for that one, weren't you? <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, so, we've got a nice card blank. So, what I'm going to do... A piece of gold mirror, I have to do this, I have to go with gold mirror. Um, and I'm going to put a piece on here. So we're going to cut that. Because our card is five and seven eighths, we're going to cut it to five and three quarter inches. Okay, and then we can stick this on here. So I'll need to trim a little bit off the bottom. So let me grab my pencil again. I could do with trimming a little bit off my bottom at the minute, Sheila. Well, so could I. I have to say... Lockdown has not been kind to me. I don't think it's been kind to anyone. I, I think you've either gone one way or the other. You've either sat in the house and gone, well, we can't go out, so let's eat some lovely food, sweets included, chocolate. Um, we're just after Christmas, so everyone's probably still finishing the, the tins of shortbread, and, as I am. And um, Shortbread, the chocolate. Oh, oh. Shortbread is it's the most beautiful thing on planet Earth, one of the most beautiful it, things. Isn't it? Uh, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I I, just fingers crossed my piece. kids are at home working and not watching this, but we've got a secret tin of shortbread in the bedroom. <laughs> we do. We have a tin of shortbread in the bedroom. Really? And we are going that's, through it at a rate of serious. knots. <laughs> Sheila, we oh really my are. Oh, goodness. How serious shortbread addiction is that? <laughs> isn't it, Joss? It, it's hidden in the, uh, in, the, in the dressing gown drawer. It's hidden. Oh, uh, let's hope he's not watching it. He'll be in there now. He'll be... Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing Max would go in there rather than Elway. Oh, would they? Yeah, it would be Max. Do you know what was funny, Dan? And I heard this a while ago, just before we went into lockdown. Um, they'd, they'd come in, I think it was when they were having an afternoon with Grandma. She yes. picked them up from school. So this is going back a bit. And they came in. And uh, I remember they'd been helping do some, like, packing of envelopes and things like that. Oh, it was yeah. a school holiday sometime. And I remember them both coming in. And then, obviously, they got, uh, they got given a little bit of money, like pocket money for, for helping out. And I remember they were both just stood just near the door here behind me. And I heard uh, Max, the little one, say, Come on, come on, Ellie, let's go to the vending machine. And uh, he said, No, no, we can't. He said, And I think Ellery must have thought, you know, he wants to buy something from the yeah, vending yeah. machine. And he said, No, no, he said, no, I've got some money. No, no, he said, You can't. And, and Max said, Well, let's just go and look at it. <laughs> Isn't hey, that tell brilliant? me that! Because I think his idea was, we've got some money, let's go and buy some chocolate. Absolutely. But Ellery Sensible said, Ellery's been sensible. no, no. He's doing your savings. Yeah, and he just said, Is his father's well, son? Well, let's just look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, oh, bless him. That, that is so funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> They've been, they would be in now because they're, um, we're bringing the boys up to, uh, you know, to, to, to uh, understand the value of money and understand that, yeah. that, that you need to work in life and so on. And yeah, well, so, that's the best way, isn't um, it? Yeah, so they, they, um, they will come to work. Obviously, it's not, it's not safe for them right now. No. Um, but not in general, they will come to work and they would help out. And, and, yeah, they're, um, very, they're very sweet boys, yeah, aren't they? You know, they're good boxes boys. and things like that. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, which is really, really good. Yeah, they're very sweet. It's a balance, isn't it? Obviously, we don't have yeah. them all day, all day, every day. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we missed them at, at like Christmas time and Easter because they always come in, don't they, and, and yeah. hand out the Easter eggs to everyone. And it's not been something they've been able to do this year. For no. Us. So it's, um, and that's I, our opportunity and it's to lovely. see them. They really, really look forward to doing that. To, so they, they'll bring it, they'll have I a trolley full of do. Easter eggs yeah, and, they'll, and they'll go around and they'll, they'll hand out Easter eggs to everyone. And to them, it's, to Max, it's absolutely wonderful. But he's watching, I know what he's doing. He's watching the Easter eggs just go down just one dwindle. by one, dwindling know, like that. It's cruel, the really. The fear isn't it? in his eyes when he gets down to the last few, thinking there's not going to be one left for me. Of course, there always is. I know, and they come to you and they go, "Which one would you like?" And you go, uh, and you can see him thinking, "Please don't take Maltesers. Please don't take Maltesers." And I go, 
<laughs> Maltesers, and then I think that's that's just cruel, Shield. That is really, really cruel. Honestly, Brilliant. it really, really is. Really. Oh my goodness, bless the heart. Okay, so what we're going to do now? I'm going to chop into my um, parchment here with the little girls on. Now, I know you're probably going to go, oh no! But what I want to do? Trim this down a tiny bit more. And then let's go a little bit off the bottom here. We're going to build up some of this parchment. Um, and I still need to take a little bit more off there. So just bear with me a second while I trim that down a tiny bit more. And then it will fit onto our mirror. So we've got white around the edge. We've got some mirror. We've got parchment. And then we've got white again. And I'm going to put this over the top so we still get that lovely background behind. You can still see that. And again, what you can do now, another little tip here, is turn, when you're going to put that on there, if you turn that over, you know where you can put your tape without it showing through. Oh, that makes perfect sense. So let's sense. do that. And I'm doing this because I know I've got, I've got two pieces of this parchment with these little girls on, so I can use my other one um, as well. So let's just pop this on in place. Uh, I've just been looking over here, Sheila, at yeah. some of the cards that have been made with the, with the dies, uh, the moonstone cutting dies that are available that, that coordinate with this collection. Yeah. And they are lovely. I'm really excited to show you. They uh, but are These cards incredible. come along beautifully. Well, the, I mean, my idea was to use um, the stamps and the dies with this, um, but I'm looking at the time because we've got another thing to fit in, haven't we? So we've got, and we've got, I, we need to show the concept cards that, that, yes, we that do. I missed out. We'll do those. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I think, are you, are you going to make a concept card? I'm going to make a concept card. Wonderful. What I'll show you while I've got these here, because you can, you can show the dies obviously in a minute. Uh, the dies are the angel wings and the cross and they're absolutely stunning now what we've got here i cut some of the wings yesterday so um once you've cut them let's just stick these together and then it gives you an idea so you'll you at least know if we don't get to to demo everything off so we can we could be here all day demoing you know we really could and when you get your kit home this is the beauty of it because you can either look back on the videos and take some inspiration from what we've done or you can come up totally with your own but these um these die cut wings these are beautiful and do you know what i was thinking yesterday i was thinking why why don't i get maybe one of my um versafine pens and just touch the edges oh yeah and then put some gold embossing powder on and heat it up or i think a lot of people who do um now then what's the word um like altered art okay and you know things like that i think like media you know what, 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 mixed what, media mixed media i couldn't think of the word then <laughs> oh my goodness um I think they will use these as well. Angel wings are still so much in fashion, but again, you could put these on here. You could pop them behind. I mean, you could even, because we've not glued it, you could even put them just like that under the parchment. So you've got your little wings there. And then we have, let me grab my, I started to make a cross yesterday. Let's just see if I can take this off here and then you can see. So here you've got the cross, you get four pieces with the cross and you can build it up. So you can go, we've got a base in gold, then we've got a white, and then we've got another piece in gold. So you've got four layers. Um, if we just stick these on there, because then that, that gives you a little bit of a, it's almost like a sneaky peek of how to do it before you see the die set. Um, but this, these dies work beautifully in these stamps. If you're gonna get this set and you can, you know, you can afford to, um, where's my other cross now? You should see my desk here, it's an absolute mess. Yeah, I've got another cross. You're somewhere. allowed, Sheila. Am I allowed? Yes. I've got a white cross somewhere, I've just uh, seen you, it. You did have it because I was looking at it. Yeah, it's around on here somewhere. Oh, there it is, there it is. I knew it wasn't far. Um, this one can then go on top, um, but if you've got the dies and stamps as well, if you could stretch to it, this will be, I think you'll use these dies and these stamps an awful lot, I really do. I think you'll just, you know, use them for all kinds of occasions. And again, this this cross is just beautiful. We are going to show you those in a second, guys. Don't worry. So I know we haven't shown you the uh, the dies and the stamps in detail yet, but they are on their way. They're amazing. Look at that. 
and then you also get like a center section that you can put on I won't put it on I'll just leave it like that for now so you can at least see how that builds up but you know you can make something so simple like that um, you know and really I just I just really like that I've not glued the wings on so if they drop down that's why but you know it's very kind of um, I don't know it's just it's just quite meaningful I feel like I think that's lovely, Sheila. Yes, you know it, what I mean. I she, can't don't do worry, at home, front. guys. She will do the um, uh, stick the. I will. Uh, I'll stick these place. on. I'll stick them on in a minute. But, um, they, but it's absolutely beautiful. And doesn't it work well? The stamp and the parchment. It works so well together with those dies. Um, beautiful. Okay, let me show you those stamps, guys. So the stamps that we're talking about there, uh, Little Angel stamps. There's a multi buy where you get all three because you can buy these at eight pounds each should you wish, but you can also get all three for 16. All of our For The Love Stamps of this size are three for two. They're on a three for two offer permanently, which I think is really, really good. Um, this is the one that Sheila uses, ever so pretty. It's got blessings, hope, special, cherished, wisdom, joy, angel, love, bless. There's so many different words, happiness. Gorgeous. Really uplifting words, aren't they? Yeah, I think it, you know, I think immediately you see it, you, you might think, oh, well, I'm not religious, but I don't think it matters. These are just general words that we use, uh, you know, in our lifetime and very meaningful, very spiritual. And I think, you know, everybody would love something with this on. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this one round so that I can read it. Um, here we go. Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's from Joshua uh, one nine, I think it is. Isn't that yeah. lovely? Um, a beautiful frame around the outside of that as well. And then we have two more. I can read these to you. Uh, let me see if I can pick them up off this one. There we go. Uh, May your guardian angel protect you, love you, and guide you from above. And that's the one at the bottom with the uh, with the doves. The one at the top is be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Oh, How lovely. So really I think the nice. stamps are really nice. They're really, really nice. And let's take a look at the cutting dies that Sheila was just using. So we've got the uh, the Little Angels Moonstone Multibuy here. The Multibuy has two sets of, if I can get them both on screen at the same time, two sets of dies. So you've got the Gorgeous Cross, um, which is this one here. And as Sheila said, there are a number of different levels. You can see there's four levels there. On top of the um, the outline, which is the uh, the one nearest my finger, and then there's also an extra section for the centre as well. Yeah. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six dies on there in total. Uh, I'll turn them around so that you can see. They've all got the numbers, uh, so the layer number on them as well, which is lovely. At the bottom, you oh seven dies because you also get all my blessings at the bottom. So that's the one that, that Sheila used alongside the uh, the gorgeous wings there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think twelve there with spread your wings and the halo as well, which is really pretty. Yeah. Let me show you a few cards that have been made with this. Um, so there we go. That's that uh, that gorgeous cross, but built up. Uh, Amy did this for us, Amy Wilkes. It's beautiful, isn't it? And that's really using one of the topper friends from the topper sheet. It just works. It's like it's meant to be in there, isn't it? Absolutely. The I love the pearl in the centre as yeah, well that she's done there. It's really, really pretty. It's glorious. Um, there we go. Similar in a way to what Sheila did, where you've got the uh, the wings and you've got the cross in the centre. But look at the rainbow mirror behind. I know. It's beautiful. That's stunning, isn't it? And again, that's, isn't wings. it perfect for like mixed media on, you know, where you start to build up your, your glitters and your grunge and your inks? Um, these would be perfect. So Lorianne did that for us, you absolute star. That's a really uplifting card, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, and here we go, all my blessings. So that's utilising that same background that Sheila did with the, the, um, uh, the cutting die there using gold uh, and a lovely cream colour here as well. Mm. Um, thank you very much, Emma, for that one. Uh, OK, I'm going to show you now, guys. Um, Two things really, really quickly, like super quickly. One of them is that we have a bag of feathers available should you choose um, uh, to grab it. If you want your feathers, your white feathers, um, a little selection there for you, 10 grams for only £4.99. Um, I can't count how many there's in there. There are loads. Uh, the other product I'm going to show you really quickly is a set of adorable scorable. Um, we just don't have time to go through and show you all the colours, but the colours match perfectly with our Little Angels collection. Okay, okay that's 9 99 30 sheets of adorable scorable, 350 GSM. I'm going to show you, um, because we are short for time, I'm going to show you our concept card, and then we'll go to Sheila for our final demo. 
Now, this concept card, I missed it out. It's my fault and I do apologize. The concept card collection is in your mega big bundle. That ultimate bundle worth $44.95 has this in there as well as the yeah. toppers, as well as the inserts, as well as the little book, as well as the parchment. You also <laughs> get this, there's so much in it. Um, and I'm gonna do my best to show you, but the, the, the best way to see this will be with Sheila. Uh, you have uh, an example at the front, at the top there with the instructions, all important instructions. You get ribbon. And that's the secret. Why are you going to use ribbon? You're going to use it with the uh, these lovely die-cut dots or holes here that are in your acetate card blanks, which oh. is amazing. Um, there's an example there of what we're going to make. Uh, you get your envelopes, of course. There are eight envelopes here because you make eight cards. And then you get your different toppers, which also become, the, the, they're the floating toppers for the card, also become the, ba the, the back of the card as well, all foiled and die-cut for you with double sentiments. So you get two of um, two different sentiments so that you can change uh, exactly sort of the theme of the card, if that makes sense. One more there. Uh, these are all your, your center sections for your pyramage. And then you have these amazing acetate card blanks. Uh, okay, let's go across to Sheila. You're gonna make eight cards with this, 11.99, or indeed it's in that bundle. Let's jump across to Sheila and watch one of these being made. Okay, so you will get your A4 sheets with your acetate panels. Now, they're all die cut, so you just need to pop them out. Check your instructions, it will tell you how to do it. Um, it's really quite simple and it's very effective. It's a lovely little card. Now, what you need to do is pop out all the little holes. I've popped, I've totally forgot to do that. So I've done it now, I'll just while Dan was speaking there. Um, and we've just got one more to grab out of there. Okay, and then what you need to do, you and obviously we're on acetate here, so you might find it a bit tricky to see, but I'll do my best to, to show you in the light there. So this middle section pops out. That is your front panel. Now, you're not going to need this, this piece that you're taking out, but you can use that on something else. Maybe do yourself a nice little shaker window like we showed before. And then your bigger panel, you pop out from the sheet, so you can just about see that in the light. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold this so... The idea behind it is that these go together and then you can um, put them together with your ribbon. So let's look at your instructions because it says press out the front and back and remove the pre-punched holes which is what we've just done. Fold the score lines on the back piece starting with a fold inwards. So I think we go from the back section like that and we fold it along the score lines which are pre-scored so your holes will be on the front piece. So we'll do the same again. So we'll just fold it inwards and then back out. And so then tricky to see with it being acetate. It is, because it is tricky. Sometimes it just looks like your hands are moving but nothing's, nothing's yeah, there, but it is there. Five, let me move this and it's against the purple mat. So you might be able to see there now how it's meant to be. So you bring it in, then out and then back in. So your holes uh, at the front and you'll be able to tell because this panel will line up perfectly with it okay if I can show you that um, so right what we need to do now we take the sheet that we want to use so you've got this lovely panel here this goes on the back of your acetate right so you'll notice now this is vital one of the acetate um, panels is rounded and the other is flat the flat is the bit that goes at the base and your topper is the same. Um, so it means when you stand it up, it will stand up because that bottom is flat. So that is your bottom panel. Now this is going to go on the back because we've got a little um, area here where you can write um, your message to your recipient. Um, so this is gonna go onto the back. So let's do that, double sided tape, make sure the top is the rounded bit and the bottom is the flat bit and then we'll put that on there like that so you can write on there. Now don't worry, you're thinking oh my goodness I can see my tape, your next topper is going to go over that so you're, you're fine, it's going to hide it. Separate these two because this piece needs to go back on top of your acetate after. Now you've got this frame here as well, which if you want to, you can pop that out or you can stick it straight on. Just because of the time aspect, I'll stick that flat onto um, here. In fact, yeah, so we need to do tape on there. I was trying to, trying to lift the backing off that tape there. That's underneath. I'm going crazy. But of course, if you want to, you can put different layers to this because yes. you've got that, um, of that option. Of course you can. 
So we're going to stick this down and then we'll start to build up the little pyramage um, layers. So make sure again your flat bit is at the bottom here. Then you're going to pop your topper on there. Take the corresponding sheet with the three um, extra die cut toppers. And we're going to put pads on these and then we can layer that up. Okay, so let's do one of these on the back of here. Remember you get four designs, two of each, so you can make eight of these. So then you just need to like marry up the designs. You go with the wings. I always find that's a good, uh, a good place to uh, match them up. And then we have our middle section. And again, we'll match up her little face there. So we've just got the neck of a dress and then the faces and the feet. So you can match those up and then we've got one small piece here which I'll put on with one of my square pads which is the perfect size and that will go in the middle. Okay, so let's just make sure that's the right way around and again you can line up their arms and the edge of the dresses. So then we've got our little um, like pyramage effect. just gives you dimension, doesn't it? It does. But it it's does. a lot more simple than decoupage. So if you find decoupage is a bit too tricky um, or a bit too faffy, yeah. uh, or, or indeed trimming it, trimming it out or cutting it out is, then this uh, pyramage is really good for you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so the next thing you need to do, the idea behind this is that you thread the ribbon through. Now you can tie it in bows to secure it I did my bows, I think, at the top. I think Natalie did hers at the bottom. It's entirely up to you where you put them. So what we came up with, we came up with this idea. Now, if I was you and you've got a darning needle or a short needle with a, a big eye, then use that. I have looked everywhere this morning for my needle with the big eye and I cannot find it. I had it the other day. So it's just a matter of starting to thread your ribbon through the holes like that okay so we're going to go through like that I, i've just knocked it out again see this is the wonders of having a needle i cannot find it somebody bought it for me um years ago and she said you're always fiddling with your twine so i've got your really long needle i think it might have been like a tapestry needle or something like that but it works beautifully it does work beautifully can i find it no i can't and i've looked again this morning since i came in the office and i can't find it so i'm devastated okay so the idea is you go up and down through these bit like you're weaving okay push that one back through there and then we and i couldn't do this um i couldn't prep this in advance because you need to stick of course you do. all your panels on before you actually this is the last bit you do uh, before you just stick your sentiment on and and i was oh so needed that needle so this is one that takes a little bit of time but it's absolutely worth it it's really fun when you've done it it re looks really nice what we'll do we'll grab this through here and then you can take i'll show you the end bit once we've got this through i apologize for this short delay here you've got a poke tool you can grab it through with your poke tool or tweezers maybe it's just a bit faffy because of that we apologize for the short delay on flight hunky dory today we're just doing we're circling aren't we in the air we're circling in the air please do remember to self-isolate for two weeks once we land <laughs> yeah guys yeah. you don't need to self-isolate for watching us <laughs> no. okay so we are going to go through here like this oh can i double check is this right i'm just looking at the tv schedule here um is Pauline on with Little Angels? Pauline's on with Little Angels this evening, and I think about quarter to seven. Or it is, like absolutely. That. So, 6 yeah. 45 this evening, if you want to have another look at this Little Angels collection on Create and Craft TV, you can do it on 6 45 tonight, Create and Craft TV, uh, with is. Pauline and the lovely Little Angels. I'm not sure who it she's is. on with. I don't know who she's on with tonight. So this little bit now, this bit has come out of the bottom. If you feed it in from the top, like I showed you, go up and over, up and over, out at the bottom, this long piece now, can you can pull that a little bit. That will now trail up the back of there and then you tie that into a bow. Okay, and that will secure that. Right. Which in that case is the same as doing a shoelace, isn't it? Yes. So, and then you obviously you can make your bow smaller and you can trim off the ends. I'm just going to leave it. So then you do, 
Now, have we got time to do this piece or should we just explain it? It's up to you. You can do it if you like, Sheila. Unless you've got extra bits you want to tell them about while I thread it I, through. I would love to, Sheila. And then we shall, can come back to it. Shall I tell you what I'm going to tell them? What are you going to tell them? I'm going to tell them what you and I are up to on Friday, Sheila. What are we up to on Friday? It's Super Savers. Oh, my goodness. Love Super Savers. So every month, guys, at the very end of the month, uh, or indeed the beginning of the next month, um, we take a load of products, core products, consumable products, um, products that people want to buy like craft tools, uh, yeah. but also products, consumables like glues and, and different types of card and so on and so forth. Uh, we slash the prices and just for one week we have them on our Super Saver offers, Super Saver deals. Uh, they're going to launch this Friday. I think there's about 20, Ooh. Sheila, 20 lines that we're going to be cutting the prices of and some of them are brilliant. There's one or two that I've mentioned as we've gone through this month um, that I promise that I will put on. So the foam pads of the strips and so on, they're gonna be going back on. Um, cool. So whatever, don't buy those until Friday because they're gonna, they're gonna be a great price on Friday. Uh, but there's lots, lots coming, yeah. That's exciting, isn't it? That's very exciting. And haven't we got, have we got, um, have we got Natalie on telly as well this weekend? Natalie? Or not? I'm not sure. I thought she was on with um, Dyes this weekend, is she not? With? With mini dies at the weekend. <gasps> oh, have you told people about the mini dies? I didn't think we were telling people. Oh, about the mini dies. I'm sorry. Normally, I normally, I'm like that, the cat out of the bag. Normally, that's my job. Oh, I'm is, um, sorry. Is, is telling all the secrets. Do you know what? I'm thinking it's Friday already. I'm sorry. The mini moonstone dies are coming to create and craft this weekend. Uh, I'll try and find out the exact time and date that it is. Um, I, I don't know what the time is. I'm sorry. I just... Do you know, I, em? Do you know? Yeah. Emily? Oh, Emily well, Emily might go be able to tell us. So it's this Saturday. This Saturday? With Natalie. With Natalie. Um, on Creating Craft TV, so not on Hunky Dory TV. Uh, they'll be on Hunky Dory TV next, next week. Next week, will it? Yeah. Uh, but with Natalie on Saturday. With Natalie well, on Saturday. She has two shows. <laughs> Two shows. One is at quarter past two. One show is at quarter past two. This is this Saturday. And one's at half seven. And one's at half seven if there's any stock left because they are mini moonstone dies. Uh, they're little icky bitty dies. They're very, very cute. They're very, very useful. Uh, and there is a great multi buy offer, offer on them as well. So that is this Saturday at two. Fifteen. Two fifteen and half seven. Half seven. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, did I? Today. Don't but worry about that, Sheila. Okay. We like telling people our secrets, don't we? Well, if we didn't, it's too late. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Okay, so we've done it again. It's not do it. You know, you're all sensible crafters. Grab a needle, like a blunted, a blunt end needle, like a darning needle, or something like that, and thread it through. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, we have done it there now. And then you trim off your ends. You're going to get the obviously the four colours of ribbon that match your little um, toppers as well. Which totally are up to you lovely. whether you use uh, a, a coordinating colour of ribbon or whether you want to go for something that is contrasting. Uh, again, it's completely up to you. But these instructions, don't worry, these instructions are with the card set. Okay, they so are. the reason why it took a little bit of time there, um, although crafting isn't meant to be, you know, a, a, a two minute wonder, is it? A one minute wonder? No, uh, I mean, we've got quite a lot in really today with uh, with everything we've used. We're gonna put a sentiment on, it says, so blessed to know you. And then we've got another little one here that says, happy birthday. We'll pop that on at the bottom. Um, and that's your little card done. Again, it's. And what's really clever about it is, it's tiny, it falls flat to go in an envelope so your side pieces will go in the envelope. Honestly, my desk is an absolute atrocious mess. <gasps> One last thing, I didn't put the frame on. Oh, the frame goes Oh, the front. frame goes underneath. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm being Don't a complete worry. disaster, she, aren't she I? Really fine. So where would, where would the so frame the go? So the frame will go, I can tuck it under actually. I do apologise. You know, I had a long day yesterday with a uh, drive to Peterborough 
um, in the snow and ice. So you wouldn't believe it. Sheila, <laughs> you never <laughs> ever need to apologise oh to us goodness. for for spending creative quality creative time with you. It's the lovely. frame goes on the front. I'm in the right mess. Honestly, <laughs> I tape the tape it on the front before you put your sentiments on. I don't want to just rip them off now, but they will come off, and I'll do it as soon as I finish the show. But yeah, your frame just tapes right round. It's exactly the same shape as the acetate. So stick that on the front there. Um, Follow your instructions, not me. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute joys of live crafting. Um, guys, thank you so much for spending time with with us today. Remember that Little Angels Ultimate Collection. We'll take one last look at the big bundle, um, $44.95. You get everything you can see there. Um, double, aside from the little book, um, you just get one of the little book. Uh, but there's 150 pages in that square little book, so there's a lot to go at here. Uh, $44.95, you also get those gorgeous concept cards that Sheila um, has just it's made. just messed has up. just messed up. <laughs> like, she, <laughs> that Sheila's just made one of. Give her two minutes and that, that frame will be on there and it'll look absolutely beautiful. They're really, really pretty cards. Um, I think those Moonstone dies are going to fly as well. Not only the ones that we've, we've shown you today, but those ones um, on Saturday as well with Natalie. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, remember our Win It Weekly question. Um, what we want to know is the answer to how many miles does the average woman walk in her lifetime whilst vacuum cleaning? It's 1,650, 9,300 or 7,300. One of those is the correct answer, we Gosh. do believe. Uh, on Friday at 10 a.m. for our Thank Craft It's Friday show, which is our next show now, um, we'll be launching those Super Saver deals, but also we will give you the answer to that question, and four people are going to win one of those lovely birthday wishes stamp and die bundles. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for flying with Air Hunky Dory. We have enjoyed piloting you around the world of craft this morning. Uh, goodbye from Emily, our Rocket to the Moon, Ralph. Bye. <laughs> goodbye, Little Angel, Sheila Halliwell. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and it's goodbye from me. Have a lovely day, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.